The story a science display is trying to tell you can sometimes be obvious. Others may be layered in obfuscation, where even the description panel causes yet more confusion. My second favourite science display can be found in most science museums all over the world, and I've come here to Questacon in Canberra to find theirs. And here it is here. It's called the Cloud Chain. Inside, you will see a seemingly empty chamber with lines appearing out of nowhere, like a tiny bullet passing through, leaving a ghostly trail of droplets that rain back down to the base. But to understand what's going on inside the chamber, there's a little background knowledge that we need to know. Once upon a time, there was a Scotsman climbing a hill. The hill's name was Ben Nevis, and the Scotsman's name was Charles Thomas Rees Wilson. At the summit of the hill, he saw a particular atmospheric phenomenon, which is called a Brocken Spectre. Just as the sun was rising up behind him, he looked out and he saw his own shadow cast on the fog around him with these great big colourful halos around it. Wilson was a scientist who was very interested in weather and atmospheric phenomenon and he saw this and he was inspired to go back to his lab to see if he could recreate it. He experimented with saturating the air inside a chamber. This air would be on the verge of creating the sort of water droplets you get in fog. And then one day, something weird happened. What? Looking into his chamber, Charles noticed trails beginning to appear out of nowhere. Now this was the late 19th century, and people were starting to get really interested in subatomic particles. These are particles that are smaller than an atom like protons and electrons, and even other things which are known as uh, alpha particles and beta particles. What Charles had inadvertently invented was a way to see the movement of these particles. His initial discovery was with water vapour, but it works even better with alcohol vapour. This is Marie Curie, and she won the Nobel Prize for examining some of these elements that would decay and release particles. And if we took some of these elements and put it next to a cloud chamber, you would see lines radiating away as these particles are released. When the particles pass through the vapour in a cloud chamber, they tip the balance in the air, causing the vapour to turn into liquid droplets. But what about the cloud chamber that's in the museum? There's no radioactive elements sitting around that. So where are these lines coming from? All around us is radiation coming from space. We call it the cosmic background radiation, and it streams through us all the time from all directions. The lines being made inside cloud chambers, such as this one at Questacon, is from the cosmic background radiation that we can't see. It's passing through us all the time and we don't even notice it, but we can see it inside a cloud chamber like this. So though it's not entirely obvious, staring into this box, we can see the invisible made visible. 